going on, everybody? My name is Chad. I want to make sure I'm not blowing your heads up with my voice. Someone told me, I think it was last week, that the audio of my voice was a little high for some reason. Don't know why that was. If it is today, let me know. We'll keep trying to fix it. Welcome! Welcome! Welcome to Anime Night. Uh, unfortunately, normally this is a, a celebration of everything we love. We lost someone uh, two weeks ago. Would have done this last week if I was in town. But we lost someone two weeks ago. And as the chat so kindly put it, it was Monkey Punch. He lived a long, good life, created a lot of stuff that a lot of people have loved for a long time. Uh, the only experience, which is kind of beneficial for tonight, I suppose, uh, that I have with Lupin the Third, which is what we're watching tonight, was there was a anime podcast, and it wasn't... It's not the one I'm thinking of. I, I can't remember the name of it. But everyone in it was very, very educated on mostly older school anime stuff from like the 70s 80s early 90s and i they, they just raved about how good lupin the third was so of course i added it to my list but because everyone ever goes oh watch this watch this watch this it got buried over the years so unfortunately i wasn't able to really feel the impact as much as i would like of uh excuse me of monkey Pun punches passing my condolences go to his family and friends so tonight, we are going to celebrate the life and work of Monkey Punch with the first, I believe, season of the TV show of Lupin the Third. I have a link in the description down below where we are going to be watching it, and you can just click on that link, it'll pop right up. We start at the same time, and we can watch anime together as a community, almost like all, however many of us are actually going to watch tonight, probably around 112 is, seems to be my average, uh, all 112 of us can sit on one couch together and just BS about the anime and have fun. Uh, hopefully I've talked enough for everybody to get in. Is this the subversion? Uh, Robert, I sincerely hope it's the subversion. If this is dubbed, I'm going to be sad. Uh, I tried finding this without any English subtitles or just with Japanese subtitles. Couldn't get it on my regular site, so we're watching it on Crunchyroll. Nothing particularly wrong with that. Uh, yeah, no options for subtitles, I figured. All right, either way, we are going to jump right into this. Hopefully, everybody has th their stuff pulled up. I I've delayed long enough for you to figure out what exactly it is that you need to be doing, hopefully by now. Uh, anyways, we will begin the show here. Saturday tradition. Anime night. Everyone huddle up. In three, two, one, start that show. Lupin the third. Oh, bullet hole. I already like this. All right, let me catch up on the chat real quick, guys. I'm so sorry. I always have to do my intro. You know me. Welcome to... Oh. Oh, this is just the opening. Okay, we're not missing anything. Uh, welcome to the anime live stream. Brandon, Lucky, Cat, the Big H Do Daga. Kendall A, Thomas W, Cornel Spade, Robert Whitaker, uh, Daniel Stout. What's going on, Daniel? Vichon. Uh, just a lot of people talking. I think that's all of them so far. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Let's have a good week. First question for you guys, because I'm completely going into this blank. What is your experience with Lupin the Third? Uh, I don't know anything about it. Gosh, I sincerely hope that this is in Japanese. Uh, I'm hearing Lupin the Third as the uh, theme in English. So hopefully that's what they intended. Come on, subbed. Please don't be dubbed. Got my cats. Got my snacks, got my Chad, I'm all set. I don't have cats, uh, I wish I had snacks. I didn't think about that till after I told you guys about it. I'll just eat wires. Ah, uh, I got a tip. Hopefully it's not for eating my wire. Ah, ah, I just got wet, son of a gun. Well, we have to buy a new pair of headphones now. Ugh. Daniel Stout with the $20. Hey, that pays for the new headphones. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you for supporting my horrible life decisions. Not anime night, just like dunking my headphones. Two pairs of headphones in water for a gag that wasn't even that funny. 
Never seen it. I've never seen it, but I've heard of it. I'm the same way. Heard some references of it in Gintama. I think I've seen more Gintama than I've seen of this. It's actually kind of fun. Uh, where am I at? Sorry, I got to pull up the YouTube on here so I can actually respond to you guys in like a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> Is it still an ad? It is still an ad. Gosh, the I have ad blocker on. How is the how am I getting ads? I mean what I should say is support support legal anime streaming, guys. This is why people don't support legal anime streaming. <laughs> These ads are so long! This stream's been going for how long? We're still in ads. Crunchyroll, come on! Throw your boy a bone! Look, I use your site all the time for anime night. Throw me like something. To, to be able to keep using you for anime nights, because I want to. Oh, at least this is a Japanese ad. I'll, that's better than nothing. Uh, Robert, when did you get the green screen? So, I don't know if you've been around, Robert, but the great coffee spill of 2019 has made my MacBook little iffy. Little iffy. Uh, and I'm a little nervous to put such a heavy load on it right now, so I'm working up to fixing it and getting stuff done with it. Uh, which you guys have been helping, which is amazing. Chad, do ad block. I have ad block on. It just didn't block any of the ads. Um, so I'm using my gaming PC, and because this is a giant PC and I can't lug it up to my YouTube studio, I'm just I hung a green screen behind me. So this is a temporary, semi-temporary thing until we can actually get my Mac fixed. Oh, it's good. It is in Japanese. Okay. Let's turn this up. This is old, you can tell. Uh, my only experience with Lupin the Third is that it has Lupin in the name, like the Harry Potter character. I think that's a lot of people's experience. Still might need you to marry me, Chad, if that's still on the table. Of course! Always, always, always. Didn't know you were getting married, but congratulations. Uh, don't ask me for a gift. I'm spending all my money on school. Uh, the gift will be... I don't know. Maybe I'll draw you something nice. I don't know. I'll figure it out. That's not a green screen. He's in the internet. Of course. Do you not have a Crunchyroll account? I do not have a Crunchyroll account. If I get a Crunchyroll account, do I have to deal with ads? Let's, uh, can we make this bigger? Oh, we can't. Usually there's theater mode, but. <laughs> okay. It's kind of weird. It, uh. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's great. So is that how they introduce all the the new episodes? They have that flashy intro screen? That's right. I like that. I don't really know much about what's going on, but it looks like a 70s spy movie, and I am a fan. Chad, I have a Valentine this year. What up, Brandon? What are you doing in anime night? Usually all of us don't have anything to do. No gift, just needs someone to marry us. Gotcha. I don't know how, but I, I'll, I'll write something. I'll figure it out. I'm smart. <laughs> if you have an account, it disables ads, then lets you re oh, lets you remove subs. That's more appealing than the ad thing. Is it free? Or is it, are you talking about the premium thing where you have to get Crunchyroll Premium? Because if I don't have money for YouTube Premium, I don't have money for Crunchyroll Premium. Maybe we'll do a tip goal for that. We'll do like, uh, or I'll set up a Patreon goal. Like, hey, 10 bucks a month, you pay, you're the sponsor of Anime Night. You make Crunchyroll free for Chad. Or how, however much it is. I don't know how much all these things are. Lupin the third movie is amazing. Don't know how the show holds up. So I was told before this whole thing started that Lupin the third had a movie that was direct. It was one of the 
was it directorial in English debuts of Miyazaki, which I had I you would have never I would have never been able to guess that. So I'm excited to watch that. I think if I like this, we'll do it next uh, next week. If I like this show, which so far I like it. I like these old animes. The old like when did this come out? The 70s. This has got to be old. Thanks, Thomas. We're humbled by your greatness. Hmm. Is this a... Maybe this is like... Uh, I don't know if it... Yeah, Speed Racer was Japanese. I don't remember what they call it, but Speed Racer, I'm pretty sure... Let's see. Let's move this. Gosh, this... So nice to typing in Japanese on here. Switch to English. Uh, what's his name? Speed. Oh, I'm in caps. All caps night. <laughs> Speed racer. This was originally Japanese, I think. Yeah, Mahagogo. Okay, so at least, yeah, this kind of reminds me of that, but seems to be a bit more comedic. Cinex, what's up? Good day, Chad Zapperman. I prefer Chad Zimmer person, but that's my own preferred pronoun. <laughs> the oldest anime show I've seen is Trigun. I know Trigun. I've never watched it. My cousin loved it. I have a DVD on the shelf of it. Haven't put the DVD in because I don't have a DVD player. Don't know why I have the DVD. Oh, that sweet, sweet vintage anime. It's good. I like it so far. I mean, there... I understand the appeal of all of new anime. It's clean. It's bright. It looks super crisp. Um, there's a lot of talent right now in the industry too. Like there's good stories, but man, there's just wow. There's something to these old animes. I just love. It's maybe it's like a vintage wine. I wouldn't know. Maybe. How does Anime Night work? Do we watch the anime on our separate screens? I'm new to this. Yeah. Sorry, V. I uh, I thought I. Maybe I didn't explain it. Maybe I didn't do it well. Happens a lot. So, Anime Night. I have a link in the description down below. You click the description. I'll actually pull it up on my own over here. Uh, you go into the description. I'd show you, but then I'd have to show you on on screen. And that's uh, not super wise. Uh, you just scroll down. And you'll see a section that says... I don't know why this isn't letting me scroll. Weird. There it is. Uh... It should be just below the Discord. It says, go ahead and open a tab along with this one so we can watch it together. It's a Crunchyroll link. We're watching episode one. Currently, I'm seven minutes, 49 seconds in. Uh, I also normally have a timer on the screen. Have yet to figure out how to put a timer on my PC. Because the timer kind of syncs it so we can watch it together. Uh, don't quite know how to do that. Gonna have to ask Justin. Justin's a re he's a good friend of mine, but he's a Twitch streamer. He knows all about this, so I'm gonna have to ask him. Uh, about a timer but well that that's a talk for another time talk for another time we're gonna watch some lupin and uh get nostalgic up in this piece next week do boku no pico i'm pretty sure youtube will take me down just for having that name in a video i'm pretty sure it'll take me down maybe that's a twitch thing maybe we'll do that on twitch i do have a twitch um that i started i don't think i have a link in the description or anything probably should but uh, we can do that on Twitch. Twitch won't take me down. They don't care at all. E, hey yo, what's up? Petition to watch Boku no Pico next week. Sign up here. Thank you, E. Thank you for having some sense. No Boku no Pico, or is it Pico? I don't remember. Is it Pico or Pico? I don't, you know, I'm not going to Google it. I'm not getting on an FBI watch list. It doesn't matter what it is. I ain't watching it. We'll do, we'll do that for, we'll do it on Twitch for 12,500 subs. When I hit 12,500, we'll do it on Twitch, not on YouTube. Ugh. Is it even legal to watch? Can you find it? I shouldn't even promise I could do it because I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find it legally. I'm taking my Zimkara rod out fishing for the first time next week now that the weather's warmed up. It's going to be interesting. So, Robert, I just got back from fishing with my Zimkara rod. Uh, the last three days, I caught 24 fish. The biggest was 19. Just just a hair under 20 inches, and I was so bummed I wanted that 20. Uh, but it was fun. I loved fishing with it. Oh, E Sally. Okay. 
Sorry, Sally. I mean, I don't know. You don't have a picture, and your name is E. So. I know you're Sally Mander from the, the Discord. I just wasn't, uh, was not aware. Whatever do you mean? It's about superheroes and quirks and stuff. Oh, yeah, you're gonna, you're totally gonna get me with that. I don't want this to be full screen. I want this to be, like, kind of full screen. There it is. It's hentai, so it's cartoons. It's legal, if not morally correct or appropriate, to show to the public. Well, I'm not showing anyone. I'm not putting it on the screen on Twitch. I just want to make sure I don't go to jail for a meme. Um, I wonder if all cartoons are legal in America. Is there a cartoon you can't watch here legally? Huh. Someone, someone Google that. I don't know. I mean, maybe, right? How's my voice, by the way? Is it good? Is the volume good? Huh. No. Hmm. I don't want... See, these are all things I don't want in my Google history. Dooga, 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 dooga. Oh, I see what, what's going on. Is that looping? Okay, over the top. I like how it goes silent. Dude, how... Okay, so that's got to be... There's a lot of movies that do that now. They're trying to be artsy and cool during an action scene by going silent. Star Wars did that recently. Um, but this is, what, 76, 79, something like that? And they had the creative foresight to do that in the 70s? That's really cool. Volume and voice is good. Okay, just want to make sure. Your voice rocks. Perfect. <laughs> Hopefully that's a compliment. How the F is lowly hentai not considered child pornography? Um, oh, freaking ads. you got to be kidding me. I'm turning the volume off for, for these freaking ads. Um, I think it's because uh, children are not involved. It, it is considered pornography. Um, but I don't think it's considered child because the child by legal definition has like a living person. Um, well, I guess I wonder if someone animates, cause I don't think bestiality is le like porn is legal. I don't know how we got on this topic. I don't think it's legal, but I think if it was animated, I wonder if it's, if that's animated, if it's still okay. I don't know. Daniel, dude, I leave in less than a month. Daniel, you're going to love it. It's going to be so fun. You're going to have a blast, dude. It's seriously going to be so cool. The thing about it is that as long as nothing actually happens to, like a real minor, so not like a minor that's drawn, or actually gets murdered, then it's legal. Horror movies are legal, right? Well, I suppose so. That's weird, though. I'm, I mean, I'm not the one to talk, but it seems... Sorry, I'm a little sick. Uh... Hey, Chad, why does Japan blur genitals? Why are you at... <laughs> why would you ask me? I don't know. They, I mean, Japan's pretty prude, so some... They're probably... I don't know. They just probably don't... They have some sort of repressed sexual, you know... They have a very repressed sexual society. I'm not sure why that's the case. So they just think that, you know, if it's not blurred, I don't know, kids will go crazy. It's, it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, there might, maybe there's like a real reason. <laughs> Where did it go? Ugh. I leave in like three months. Dude, you're going to be... Ugh, I'm so I'm so stoked for you. You're going to come back and I want to hear all about it. We'll get on voice and we'll just freaking talk for ages. I love hearing about people's first time over there. As long... Oh. All right, it's back on. We're at 12 minutes, 6 seconds. Turn that volume back up. I'll probably share pics when I'm in Japan, by the way, if that's cool. Please do. I mean, put it in the Discord. I'll see it. I read... Um, I was gone the last three days in the mountains. I didn't have service. But right when I came back, I'm sure you guys saw in the Discord, I was... Everything that needed answering, I was talking to. So, uh... 
you know, if you guys ever want to share pics about your first time or maybe you guys had a cool experience with Japanese, tell me about it. That's what I'm about. Believe it or not, I actually enjoy when the people I'm helping are helped and, like, get to do cool stuff. That's why I'm here, so tell me. As long as no living being is injured or raped, you're good. Cartoon characters get torn apart all the time. Look at Looney Tunes. Yeah, I guess, I mean, it's not even for, it's not really a legal quandary. I guess it's more like a, like a moral quandary, right? Like, should that be legal? Who is one person to tell another person something that does not affect another human being what to do? Maybe it's, is it just because it's repugnant enough, you know? I don't know. I, I That's kind of one of those things you have to think about a bit. It's probably, I gotta say, just as a... I don't know what you call me. A, a pretty, as of late, a pretty casual anime watcher. I'm not watching everything that airs anymore. Uh, I watch what I want to watch and then don't bother with the rest. Gotta say, the, the part of the anime community that makes me the most uncomfortable is those. Like, the people that like lolis and stuff. And here's Chad King shaming. Oh, I hate being sick. I'm going in November, hoping to finish Genki 2 by then. Robert, you'll just miss me. I leave uh, October 29th. Gives me a full month to recover and prep for the JLPT on the... Was it November... Or December 2nd. I think it's always on December 2nd. This is weird. Oh, is she getting felt up? Oh, she's getting tickled. That's harmless enough. Kind of. She doesn't look like she likes it, but it should be a tickle machine, right? Okay. Tickle machine. I love hearing about people's first time. Oh, okay. Do you, you know what I meant. Don't be weird. <laughs> I hope the show is good. I'm thinking about watching Lupin the Third. Yeah, I like it so far. I really enjoy it. Well, that's a lot of cleavage. That's a little too much cleavage, lady. First off, if you're a spy, why are you wearing that outfit? But whatever. Chad, have you heard of Megalobox? Let me see. Megalobizox. 2018, so I haven't probably. 2018 television series, 50th anime. Okay. So it's an anime, looks like. Uh, I don't know, boxing maybe? Something, something similar to that? Haven't heard of it. Is it good? Lag is going to kill me. Is it lagging for anybody else? I'm a casual anime watcher too. I was bigger on it when it was like the only thing that you could do, right? Like when I was not laggy for me. Okay. Weird. Um, when it was the last, what do you call it? When I was first learning Japanese, which for... I don't know, four... When I was serious about four years ago, there wasn't a lot in terms of, like, normal Japanese TV, like, news and stuff online. There was a little bit, mostly recorded on YouTube. There wasn't as much as there is now, so I had to watch a lot of anime. So I watched, I think, just to my uh, Kitsune account, which is kind of like, was it my anime list? I think I was at over four or five hundred anime titles that I completed. I, I went, way, way, like, way too hard in the paint. But it was good. I liked it. Pokemon the Series XY is on Twitch. I heard about that. I'm concerned. I can't see where that spider went. Send help. No lag over here. Okay. It's cool. It's kind of like a. It's like a race car spy kind of show. Pray for me, guys. Didn't think I'd like sports anime, but Megalobox was really good in my opinion. It's a short series, so you can finish it pretty quick. Oh, that's good. I did, uh, which, there's a couple that I watched, so I never like sports anime. Uh, and then, what, what was it? Haikyuu was really good. 
Um, there was a rugby one that was pretty okay. It wasn't great. You could tell it was mostly trying to get girls really turned on, just with, like, boys in tight clothes with hard muscles. Ooh, she's tricky. Um, trying to remember the other ones I liked. I heard that running anime was pretty good. It's done by the same people. Uh, there's a boxing one. I think it was Hajime no Ippo. I, d I watched a couple episodes of it. Didn't really get into it. <sighs> other sports animes that were good. That's always hard. It's my network probably explained on Discord. I was in uh, Starbucks once for school. It was actually Thursday last week. I, I had online class and basically couldn't even video in because my internet was so bad. It's cool. It's like Secret Agent Speed Racer. I'm all about it. <laughs> People on Snapchat are like, don't work yourself too hard, Chad. It's like, I'll try, but that's not easy. Wow. This is such a cool show. I mean, you gotta think, the anime industry wasn't really a thing. It was just cartoons. And so, there were no standards, there was no expectations, it was just make shows that kids will find fun, like that, like kids will find funny. And they came up with this from like, just being really cool and creative. Uh, that's, that's what it should be, right? It shouldn't be like, oh, we have to have a certain amount of tropes, or we have to have this you know this much fan service we should have x and y and z it should just be let's make something that's cool and interesting if it has those things then it has those things because those things are interesting not because they need them yeah this is a old school man for a future anime night you should do nasca in honor of the movie's 35th anniversary when's the uh 30 let's see no when's the 35th uh, anniversary Oop, that didn't work out well Nasca in the Valley of the Wind. 35th anniversary. Well, I guess I could just type in Nasca and go to the Wikipedia. Oh, I'm tired. Based on his 1982 manga of the same name. Nasca in the Valley of the Wind. Okay, so it came out in 1984, 94, and then 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, you're right. So when did this come out? What date? What, like, actual day? Release date's the 11th of March. Oh, we missed it. Well, we can still do it. I'm down. Even though it's a little late, we just won't tell anyone. It's fine. No one's going to know. They're showing Nasca on my birthday here locally. I'm going to do it in theater, even though I have it. Or do you mean like the foreign release of it? Because the original release was uh, the 11th of March, 1984. And I don't know when it got released internationally. Did you do your name on Anime Night? I know everybody's seen it before, and it's basic, but I love that movie. I don't think it's basic. I think it's sweet. I like that movie. I haven't done it on Anime Night, I don't, I don't uh, think. If you guys are ever curious about what I've done for Anime Night, it's a pretty easy process. Uh, just go to my channel and search the name of the anime. If it pops up with, like, Anime Night, that title, I've done it. If it hasn't, I haven't done it. Uh, we can do that, too. So, your name's really fun. I don't know. Does anyone... Can someone in the chat real quick just do a quick search on, like, a couple of uh, websites that might have it and see if anywhere has it online? I'll check uh, Dieweeb real quick, because that's kind of my go-to right now. That's not it. Uh, oh, they have it. Yeah, Dieweeb apparently has it. Here, I'll uh, send it to you guys. The, and by the way, if you watch it on Dieweeb, you can do the Japanese subtitles with it. Yeah, Kimi no Nawa. There it is. Cool. Yeah, I saw this in theaters, by the way. Oh, 
and Lupin's over. Oof. Good show. All right, we're going to move on to episode two, and then we'll have to call it a night, guys. You guys know how it works here. We only do two episodes of the anime. So, I think episode one, race carring ice, you're, you, you've garnered my attention. So, let's move on to episode two, the man they called a magician. I don't know why they didn't leave the episode names in Japanese, but I guess that's irrelevant. We're going to move on to episode two now, and it begins in, uh, where are we at? In... Th -th 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 three two advertisement never mind when it starts to play i'll let you guys know we got we got ads Ugh, that's annoying die weeb lol yeah i know i that was that's definitely on purpose what did you think of jojo chad so jojo i don't know if you were around last oh it just started just started loop and third start right now S second episode right now sorry uh Where are we at? Sorry. What did you think of JoJo? So, we did JoJo last week. First episode was not sold on it, to be perfectly honest. First episode, I was like, this is dumb. Second episode, where they brought in that supernatural element, I was like, sold. Sold. Like, I I'll watch it. Have not watched it since. I got super, oh, so mad this week. I had to fight Wells Fargo forever. I had to, uh... I, I got... It's not scammed, but the the flight company messed up. We ended up uh, canceling my flight. Didn't give me a refund, and nowhere that I could get one. And uh, after what was it, eight hours one day, and then four hours the next, I was like, you know what? I need to go to the mountains. That's why there was no w video on Wednesday. I had to. I just was like, I need to leave society and go fish, or I'm gonna blow up. And uh, I feel better now. But I will continue watching JoJo when I am not currently destroying my brain with uh, graduate level linguistics, which is good, is fun, but definitely gets old, and I understand why most people don't bother. Yeah, the first episode was meh, uh, but it went on and I got invested. Yeah, so the, the going on is what is what does it for me. When they brought in all those supernatural elements and it was fun and interesting, you know, I was a fan. But that first, gosh, I hate it when... And it sucks because it is true. So many stories, frankly, need more than 30 or what would it be, 23 minutes to be good. And it just kind of sucks because, like, ugh, I wish... You didn't have to just watch, like, 30 episodes of something for it to actually be good. Because that's just such a huge time investment. It should just be good, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb. Did you guys... Excuse me, hiccup. Did you guys know there was a Kim Possible live-action movie? Yeah. Look that... That was real. Look that up. I think it was on Disney Channel, too. I don't remember. All I need to know is that people learn words by point and grunt. <laughs> yeah, if the story's too slow, I get bored. It's not even the bored. It's like... Think about the best movies you've ever seen right now. It doesn't have to be anime. It doesn't have to be Japanese. It's just a very good movie. Think about it. And go, was I invested 30 minutes in? I, I would argue. It's not a fact. I know it's anecdotal. I would argue almost all of those movies that you love. You were hooked within, what, 5, 10 minutes. 5, 10 minutes into the movie, you're like, this, this is going to be good. And if it sucked, you probably 5 to 10 minutes in were like, yeah, this ain't for me, right? So, why is it that we give anime a pass on like seven or eight half hour episodes in order for it to be good? I think that's just, that's giving too much credit. Chad, how many vocabulary words do you know? Just in, sorry, just in memorize. I know 9,289. Uh, on Anki, I don't have on this computer, it's probably 1,500, give or take. Well, actually, I guess it'd be 15 with Greeks. So I don't think that counts. It'll probably be 13, 1,200 on Anki. 
And then on top of that, there's a lot of words that I've never entered into a SRS system. Just I just knew it from texting my friends and, uh, you know, just hanging out and, and being in Japan. So that would probably equates to another thousand words. So I'm probably realistically around, I don't know, 11, 12, 13,000 total words. Just in a SRS system, 9,289 and then probably roughly 1,200 at Anki. Sorry, that was a long explanation. Whether it be the box office or their own TV channel, you'll never escape the flood of Disney live-action remakes. Truth. There are some movies that I legitimately could not finish because they were mind-numbingly boring. Same for the books. Have I had anything that was mind-numbingly boring? I like how the theme is just a guy saying Lupin the Third. Um, was there anything that had me so bored? Huh. I don't... I should say, I don't watch a lot of movies that I know I probably won't like. So, maybe I haven't seen them just because I, I don't go out and watch stuff that I'm like, oh, that's going to be bad. I gotta head out. See y'all later. See you, Sally. Is it better to learn individual words or phrases and try to dissect the words from it? So you're asking the golden question that language learners have been fighting about as long as there's been two languages that are separate. Uh, oh, the movie Gravity, was that bad? Here, let me look that up. So, Gravity. Oh, yeah, I didn't watch this one. I thought this was... When I was thinking Gravity, I was thinking of the... Oh, maybe I was thinking of The Martian, the one where it's Matt Damon, he poops and makes potatoes in space. That was all right. I, I thought it was a decent movie. Hey, Naked Lady. Okay, I guess it wouldn't be a children's anime in the 70s if there wasn't a, a nude woman in it. Uh, so, I've done words, and I've done phrases. I, I don't think I particularly pick up the phrases any faster, because... I can understand phrases being helpful, especially if a word is very similar. Just looking up one definition of a word doesn't really help you that much. Like, I'll give you an example. Um, so, actually, I don't need to type it. You guys can just listen to me. You're getting instructions from someone. And you're, you're like, hey, where is the Wells Fargo? No one ever asked that because Wells Fargo is horrible. But where is the Wells Fargo? And I would go, oh, you go up the street and take a left at the bank. Now, when I say the word bank, do I mean a physical location where you can exchange money, right? Do I mean a, like a river bank? Do I mean bank as in slope, right? As a thing that slopes down. Um, do I mean a sea bank? What do I mean by turn left at the bank? In English, you wouldn't really know the difference. In Japanese, if you see whatever the word for that would be, right? If you just say this equals that, that isn't the full picture of the word. So a phrase can be helpful, but here's the problem. A single phrase does not tell you all the uses of the word either. That's what that's what people who argue that on Reddit always say. They go, well, you, you know, learning a single vocabulary with a definition doesn't tell you any more about the, the word. And it's like, well, yeah, but one phrase is one use of that word. You'd have to learn multiple phrases with the use of that word. And they go, yeah, that's what I do. And then I go, why can't you just learn a word with multiple different meanings? You could do both. It's neither of them are wrong or bad. And there are people that learned it word for word. There are people that learned it with phrases uh, and who are good. Uh, my buddy Paul, who works for Line Japan, like the app that you guys all use, Line, he's one of the, dev uh, the devs on it. One of the people that work on the app and make it work and run and be awesome. Paul is extremely fluent. In, I shouldn't be giving out his name. We'll just, whatever. I already missed it. We'll call him Pete. Pete's extremely fluent in Japanese. He did not learn phrases. He did not put phrases into Anki and then figure it out. He didn't do that method. He did, this word means this. And then if he got onto a word list where that word could also mean something else, he just added that second one in. 
Uh, I'm in the school of thought that if you want to do phrases, do phrases. If you want to do words, do words. You're not going to not be fluent because I've met people that are unbelievably good at Japanese who do it both ways, right? I, I mean, that was it Matt versus Japan guy is very good. He did phrases. Georgie from uh, uh, Fudge. What's his name? Ah, what is it? Uh, Japanese from zero, very fluent, uh, learned it from words. He didn't do, you know, phrases it put into to flashcards. Paul did it with words. I've studied both. I've done phrases and I've done words. Um, it, it, just do what you want, dude. Try, try words for a while. And if it's not your cup of tea, try phrases. And if that's not your cup of tea, well, then you got to you gotta stomach it somehow, so just do both or pick one. Pick the least uh, awful. I don't do phrases as much. Filthy Frank is half. That doesn't count. <laughs> well, so here's the thing, Lucky. If I said that in a rural situation, then it wouldn't be in the middle of Tokyo, right? It would be somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. Then you'd be like, oh, it's probably a river bank, right? You're, you don't think you're going to be in the middle of nowhere and take a left at one bank to then arrive at another banking establishment. It seems kind of weird. Uh, there's a lot of words like that that just have multiple meanings and are used in different ways and just figure it out. Yoko's here. What's cracking, my man? And she pulls up her dress, of course. This is... Gosh, now I'm starting to not be sold on this. I, oh, she's got a gun! Much better. George Trombley. Yeah, I love George. He's so cool. He's a great resource. If you're uh, if you're in like the beginner or intermediate phases of language learning, getting onto his channel and just looking up videos are a treat. It really is because he does a good job. He's foreign. He's been there. He knows what it takes to study. He's good. Take a left and rob a bank. I'm gonna watch the loop in the third. The Castle of Castanado in theaters in 2017 dubbed version, but I missed it. No. No, it's weird. A phrase that means one thing, but also can mean something similar. So you say one thing and they hear another. Um, we were learning in class yesterday stuff called, oh, I don't want to get into language theory, but it's called non-literal language. I won't get into it. Uh, there's a English term that we have where it's meant to mean, I think a lot of people, uh, is it not innuendo? I don't think that's the word. It means both meaning simultaneously. Okay. That's not the words. I innuendo. I forgot it was, but it literally means it's meant to have both meanings of a word or a phrase congruent. And it's one of the only times in human speech that you actually you, intend for a signifier set to mean the same thing sorry i'm in uh some classes that are all like linguistic theory and it's dumb it's not going to help you guys learn japanese it's not helping me learn japanese it's just helping me understand difficult comps concepts i translate but it was good this kind of reminds me of case closed i don't know that one either case closed man i must be casual is that an anime it is. Oh, it's uh, Detective Conan. I know the series. I haven't seen specifically that. So Chad would rather have guns than panties. Good to know. I'm confused. I don't know what that means. But either way, Hempai. Double entendre. Entendre! That's it. Uh, it. By the way, it doesn't have to be double entendre. It can be triple entendre. Something could have three meanings. Uh, quadruple entendre. It just depends on how many meanings the author of it intended at the exact same time. And the author has to intend it. It's not a double, it's not an entendre if the person doesn't uh, actively mean it. They just made a mistake and it's usually called, or not even a mistake, it's like an unknowing, uh, un, like an unrecognized pun, right? Entendre is intentional. So if you ever try to attribute to someone a meaning and they go, that's not what I meant. I meant this other thing. And you can go, well, it could, it could mean both at the same time or you mean both because just linguistically, because he didn't intend that thing to mean that. It's not 
technically considered an entendre and thus a mean, double meaning at the same time is not a valid inquiry. They use that a lot in an inquiry. It's not a valid, um, ah, what is it? Uh, not a valid, I hate college words. It doesn't matter. You, can, you It's not admissible in court. You, you wouldn't be able to put someone's testimony like that in court. Fun stuff, right, guys? Don't ever freaking go, don't. Don't do graduate level language class. That's a big Pepsi. It's Coca Cola, not Pepsi. It says Pepsi. Um, I don't think I ever use entendres. Not unless I'm, like, actively writing something I'm trying to be funny with. Maybe, just for this, maybe, because I'm writing a 25-page research paper right now on, I think, was it 15? When was Francis Xavier first in Japan? Yeah, he... Yeah, the the language in Japan and how it made it incredibly difficult for outside uh, translation in 1534. So that's my research paper. And ooh, it is brutal. It, it is a fascinating, awful read. Graduate language level classes make you forget how lang how to language apparently. They're not language class classes, they're linguistic classes. I should probably clarify. I probably said language. I meant linguistic classes. Because these can be applied to any language. Could be Japanese, English, Greek. Um, we use a lot of like old Greek, a lot of old Hebrew. It's bleach. weird I haven't heard someone use yosu's yose before to get someone to stop doing something this is so cool it's like mystery solving spy race car driving I love it have you gotten to the max JLPT yet no 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 that's the problem when I'm in full-time full student also working and studying Japanese I don't got time to go hard in the, the mofo paint like I was last year and, and previous years. I have toned it, Japanese down to where I'm still doing it and I'm still doing it hours a day, but it's freeing up about four hours so I could do graduate school. Ichigo Kurosaki is shook. Yeah, for real. See, you forgot how to do the language thing. Yeah, it's definitely... After you hear someone... After you hear your professor who is like one of the most renowned experts in ancient linguistics go words technically don't have any inherent meaning have a good day and you're like what what's the point of all this and then you have to spend the next dozen hours of class figuring out the the true matrix of language it's stupid it's, <laughs> it's fun to know but trust me guys not not worth it if you just want to speak to your japanese friends it's worth it if you want to do some, like, scholastic translation. Uh, other than that, you know, meh. So he figured it out. Brad. How long are these eps? They feel long. Well, I guess they're only 24. It's not bad. See? Pointing and grunting and eyebrow waggling. Yeah, it it, it devolves into a lot of uh, weird terms that don't make people feel good on the inside. Like, I, I, I wouldn't publish th what this research paper I'm doing. I wouldn't put it anywhere because it's like, it wouldn't benefit people. You'd have to understand all of the weird words that are required to you know kind of navigate the matrix and then my paper is for and based on people who understand the the linguistic matrix that we've spent 12 weeks working on not 12 weeks it's hyperbole but a lot of weeks 
So it's more or less just for the other professors to pontificate and go, oh, very good. How did she record that without that dude hearing it? I do not know. The linguistic student jargon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's fun to know because it's like, it's going to help in my future career is doing like not just office tattoo translation. Like, if I want to do stuff that's worth it and, like, way up here that'll just never get done by... Like, you couldn't hire a normal translator to do a good job at it. Um, then this will help. But I don't do that. Like, I'm... All of the translation that I do now is for a tattoo shop. It's not hard translation. In fact, I think most people could do it... E I do... I don't even have an N2, right? Like, I failed last year's by, like, 13 points or something. Um, and I'm doing it just fine. And I'm not giving them bad translations. I'm just, the N2 is using very specific sets of translations. Ooh, that's a cool translate, that's, or trans, that's a cool transition. Ooh, I love that. Uh, they just test, the N2 tests you on a lot of stuff you just don't really use. At least I don't really use. You'd probably, you definitely use it if you're at, like, the level in Japanese that I'm doing in graduate school with English, you would use it. But for day to day, you just wouldn't use it. I like this art style. I do, too. I love old stuff, man. Professor, I did it, but I am ashamed. Good. Yep, Yoko, you start math now. You, you are smart at math now. And she's naked again. Why? Okay, so mermaids are real. So, oh, no, I don't think, yeah, I don't think mermaids are real. I think he's hallucinating. Never mind. I was like, oh, so this world has mermaids. Okay. It's, if it's fine, I don't care. This world can have mermaids. Who cares? It makes sense. Did I tell you guys what I've been doing lately? So, I met a... Korean girl in Japan who she doesn't really speak English but she speaks like great Japanese she work, she's a hotel manager in Japan you have to speak good Japanese uh, I do not speak Korean but I speak Japanese so we started telling each other like we just became friends in Japanese so we're friends but we don't ever use our native languages uh, and we talk about our countries and explain she, she was talking to me about Hangul uh Han, I, well, I don't know what it is. Han in English. Uh, ha Hangul. It's Hanguru, but I don't, I don't know how they do it. But it's Hangul, and she was explaining how to read Korean and teaching me in Japanese, which was fantastic. And I was teaching her uh, English phonetic pronunciation. English phonetic pronunciation. Uh, so that's one of those cool little things that you get to do when you, you know, are proficient enough in another language. You get to, it's not just with Japan, right? Like it's, people think, oh, well, if you only do Japan, it's just that one island. But no, there's, you know, all sorts of cultures that use Japanese. It's really cool. Is Memorize as good as Anki? I, dude, you're asking a lot of preferential questions. Uh, I use, excuse me, I used Memorize for the longest time. Uh, I have used Anki as well, but I just prefer the interface of Memorize. They are changing stuff right now, and you can't build any more decks until they navigate everything to a mobile site from the app. So I don't recommend Memorize right now until they fix that. Uh, Anki's been a standard forever. It works. It's good. Um, but it, the iPhone app's like 10 bucks, and I still, to this day, do not want to spend 10 bucks on that app. So... All right, Heisenberg. <laughs> you know what's cool? The music kind of reminds me of like a Tarantino movie, like an old cowboy from like those old Western movie soundtracks, but it's done to like a modern theme. It's really like the people that were doing the music design on this were 
I mean, ahead of Tarantino. Tarantino wasn't making this style of stuff in 70-whatever. And they close the door. Dude, Lupin's so cool. I like this show. I'm going to actually watch this when I'm this summer when I'm off of school. I'm going to go through everything. This is for sure added to the continue to watch forever list. And there's a lot of episodes. Just Lupin the Third, part one, I think is 23 episodes. This was a kid's show. Why are they so over the top sexy? What'd she do? Smack him in the head with it? Knock him out? Oh, she did. Yeah, he was being a pig, so good. You see, that's women power right there. If he's being a pig, you don't need to freaking protest on Twitter. Smack him. He's being a douche. That's exactly what she should do. Good for her. 80s anime is such cool nostalgic vibe to it. I know. I love it. I love it so much. Cocaine is for people who want to be extra good at cooking. I'll, I'm going to make a t-shirt that says that. Ugh, and the ending's good. I like this anime. This is a good anime. Oh, and even better, they don't even have to say anything. Oh, so, mu so much anime, because it's only 20, what, 24 minutes usually, 23? They have to force so much into such a small amount of time. And Lupin ended it with no dialogue, and it felt like there was story being built. This is great. This is such a good show. All right, that's the end of Anime Night, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help me real quick, this would help me tremendously. There's a like button down below. Consider smacking it. It just helps YouTube's algorithm kind of promote me for free. You guys don't have to pay anything. Thank you so much to our tipper, Daniel Stout, tonight. I really appreciate it, dude. You're the best. Um, is there anything else? Wicked Miss Green podcast link down below. It's the podcast we're on. If you guys aren't subbed, you definitely should. We are the funniest people you'll meet this side of the Mississippi. Uh, Patreon link down below. Great way to support me. Uh, I think that's about it. We just rolled over, by the way, I think 12,400 subs. So thank you so much. If we do 12,500 and so long as it's le so, sorry, I forgot my headphones off. So long as it's legal, <laughs> my microphone's right here. So long as it's legal, uh, I'll do Boku no Pico on, if I think there's a follow button, you can just hit the follow. And then whenever I live stream, you can find me. It's pretty easy. I think not really sure. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. Uh, good night, Chan. Are we going to Chan? Uh, we are not. I got studying tonight, Rob, but I'm always in the Discord, so I'll, I'll text chat, but I can't be on voice. I actually have to read some books after this. Anyways, have a good evening, everybody. Love hard, love deep, and I will see you all. What is that turn? What? What is it? It's, oh, right. I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. Open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make coast collide Hold tight